tonight was a great night. It really was. It's like... I want to head out to the weekender so I can have a really great morning and there's a few things that I need to have done a delivery that I have coming and I want to you know be an amazing personal chef so I want to provide very little worry on my end whether or not I can get something done So I pick up the children from school and I bring them over, I take them home and then I handed the children the, the device. I said, here, use my phone and they were like, okay, can we, what do they want to do? I'm sorry, I got distracted by this car to the left of me. Uh, So basically, I left the kids in the car watching a device. They were watching some sort of show, and the show was uh, five minutes. So I said, "Okay, after this, we gotta, you know, you gotta go inside." So I go inside, and out of nowhere, I'm. A recalculation. Turn back where possible. Then take the next right. Okay. So what I did was I I get in the house. <laughs> yeah, I cannot stop smiling. I ain't gonna I'm gonna keep it real. I cannot stop smiling. I've been smiling for the last two hours. So, out of nowhere, I turned that five minutes into a nooner with LJ, and it was the first time that I think we have been spontaneous in. I don't even know years it feels like I'm sure it wasn't it hasn't been years but it feels like it was so spontaneous and let me just say this when I went back to get the children not only did they watch that five minute clip they also watched a 15 minute video and another five minute video so I'm just saying the energy that I had today to be spontaneous the way I was, was unbelievable. I loved it. I have to, I mean, I'll be lying. I, I cannot stop smiling. It was just like, it was almost like cheating on my girlfriend with my girlfriend like it was like that and it was good and it was spontaneous it wasn't something that we have to plan or just like you know I done had enough and it's been way too long come on we got to get this done what do you want me out there in the streets like a dog no so help me out over here it wasn't like that and it was really good and intermittent fasting might be the culprit so I tie all that in to say that intermittent fasting had me very randy today and in a good way mutually good way not on some old like uh, selfish Come on, you know, it was it was it was great. I, I mean, I have to, you know, I have to say, 
I'm feeling good. You know, and interest. Hey, check this out. I, I I had a few like I was like tossing and turning a little bit last night because weighing myself at the zoo, seeing the reality of the 331, 331 pounds. Where according to my clothing, I feel like I should have lost at least 30 pounds by now. Which would make me in the high 260s. I mean 360s, 360, 370 pounds. And, and like I said in the other video, I think it was vlog 12.2.02, I guess. I said in that vlog that um, I lost my train of thought. Somebody just cut me off. You know, people just love cutting people off. It's just ridiculous. But what you gonna do, you know? We're in this big city, everybody's in a rush. I'm only going, well, I mean, it's only 40 mile an hour on that particular area, and I'm going 40 miles, and now it's 30. So, my point is that the intermittent fasting was ABC. This is the part where you edit, and then you just, you know, start off when you get your mind right. But being that I'm doing this gonzo style, and I'm just picking up the phone, pressing record, and I'm doing it in the most awkward times because I have no set and I know that the people don't want a set. People want this to be real, authentic. They want to be able to relate to the person that they're looking at. And I'm gonna tell you, man, I had a great day. I had an amazing day. I'm happy, you know. Um, and I was talking about something to do with my video, though, my previous video, and that was when I was changing the clothes and, 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 and all that kind of stuff and weighing myself, learning that I'm 200 and I was 370 pounds all day. Oh, that's when I said in the video that I was a size 48 and I refused to buy the 48. I said, no way, I'm not buying 48 pants. I don't care what I gotta do to tailor these things. I just refused to do it. I was like, no way, but I still gained weight. So we're talking about, I was almost as much as a gorilla. Gorilla, 400 pound gorilla, I was, the 400 pound man in the room and did not even see it was unable to see it unable to see it i could see it now and let me tell you this when i see myself in the videos that i do mind you there's a reason why this is 700 series verse worth of vlogs because i have years of vlogs i've been vlogging for years most of the stuff that I've done, I've never put it out. What's that about? But I digress on that. I see the big man in me now where I couldn't before. I think it's the separating of that brain where you separate, you know, the brain from consciousness and allow the brain to just be the machine that pushes the body forward. And that thoughts that come into the brain confuses the consciousness to believe that it's the, it's it's something that's dumb. And these thoughts are not you. The way you feel about yourself, the way you think people are talking about you, the way all these th these are just thoughts, man. They're attacking your subconscious. And intermittent fasting has allowed me the ability to separate this person that I was being to the true my true self, who I am, the person that I am. And the person that I am is this amazing, caring, you know, person who cares about the environment, who cares about family, who cares about all kind of different things. And I was being, or at least being led to believe that maybe I wasn't all those things. Maybe I was just like, you know, not a good person, not a, not a, not a stable person, not a, 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 a person who can challenge, get challenged again. You know, I was not challenging myself, my creative self. I was not, I was in a rut and the rut lasted years. Like I said yesterday in, 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 in the vlog, I think it was 13. And it's that even though I can fit into my shirts from 20, 17 those shirts were bought by a very overweight man 
that man that bought those shirts was extremely overweight. A lot of the shirts I don't even care for. They're not even really the shirts that I like, but they were the only ones that fit. So this journey is about seriously becoming the person that I keep seeing in the mirror, who now I am not being able to see as clearly before. It's a little more fuzzy. It's a little more vague. It's a little more like, oh, that's what the world sees. Because, you know, perception is reality. One person might look at me and see the most cuddly teddy bear. Someone else might think I'm security to a club. Another person, whatever their perception of me is, is reality. So my perception of myself was totally unrelated to reality. It was almost in the cognitive dissonance. The cognitive dissonance of who I truly was was so deep into my subconscious that I couldn't even see it. And the intermittent fasting, I believe, has allowed me the opportunity to see who I truly am, at least my presentation to the world in such an interesting way. So I, I, I see the fat. I see the man that I am in the videos when I play it back. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I am truly okay because someone else is gonna look at me and say, wow, this guy reminds me of me. This guy reminds me of the person that I know that I can be, that I'm not being. So thank you once again for being on this journey with me. There's a bunch of stuff you can do when you like videos. You know, you can share them. You can do a lot of thumbs up. You can leave comments. All these different things, you already know how to do it. I'm not here to constantly remind you of that because that's not what this channel is about. This channel is about a guy who presses the record button when he says, I need to share. When he's even a little afraid, I need to press that button because that button has given me massive courage. Massive courage has come from me pressing the record button and talking directly to you. And I appreciate you for tuning in all this time. Someone else would say, ah, make it a three minute video. People have don't have that. Those people I'm not talking to. I'm not talking to the guy who cannot take a moment and listen to a rant or listen to a guy unscripted, in your face, judge me, don't judge me, ride with me, don't ride with me, but that's me. I'm just like, I'm just a guy. I'm just like you. I might look a little different than you look. Somebody might say, how could you even relate to the guy who sounds the way he sounds, who speaks the way he speaks? He's so whatever. He's so, oh my God, amazing, intelligent. He's so, oh my God, ignorant and uninformed. All these different things because perception is reality. And all of these different nuances still will have you sit where you are because you understand when I say that thoughts are lies. Thoughts are not you. You get that. That's why we work together so well and I appreciate you because I'm talking directly to you and you know who you are because I know who you are. I can feel you and time, you know, might not even be real so if you see this five years from now six minutes from now eight weeks from now it still applies to you and you get it like i get it and i thank you for that today was a good day today was a good day and you know what i didn't have to use you know it <laughs> today was a good day I didn't have to use my AK. Boom. <laughs>